Today, I'm going to share with you my flu and cold protocol. This is highly impactful to have prepared before you have a cold or flu. But if you are dealing with the onset, these recommendations will be extremely powerful in minimizing your duration and helping you get through the assorted angsty cold and flu symptoms. So number one, we really need to support your overall system and minimize inflammation and help modulate your immune state. Modulation through functional mushrooms is what I recommend here. And using our 7M, which is this power punch of very powerful immune modulating and immune invigorating biochemical, so nutrients in the mushrooms can help your body fight the viral infection and can limit any bacterial infections that might occur secondarily. So I love to use functional mushrooms in any of my immune management protocols. The other thing that I recommend is to use curcumin via turmeric. And in the state of colds and flus, it's not uncommon for you to have respiratory grievances like stuffy, puffy nose, sinus headaches, even congestion in the chest. Joint and muscle care are supplement that has turmeric and it has frankincense and myrrh. This trio is extremely astringent and powerful for supporting your respiratory passageways. Now, I also like to lean on our immunity three, which is just a fantastic power punch of immune boosting botanicals. Immunity three is one of the products that I recommend definitely consuming every day during cold and flu season. If you find you're more prone to cold and flu season, immunity three, you can rely on. But during an actual infection, upping your dose to three times a day is going to be powerful at really supporting and enhancing your immune state. And similarly, I also recommend using homeopathic zinc. Zinc, you're going to find in a lot of the immune boosting supplements, but having sometimes even like a zinc homeopathic spray, zinc is your frontline protection. And a lot of folks tend to have deficiencies in zinc coming into cold and flu season, and then they're more prone to having a cold and flu develop and, and get intensified. So a, approaching the beginning phase, this kind of the beginning when you start to feel the throat tickle or the aches in your muscles, that's going to be powerful using a homeopathic zinc. There are lozenges that I recommend and also the zinc sprays. Now, something you probably don't consider to be highly beneficial during cold and flu season is collagen. Reaching for collagen can help your muscles and your bo bones, specifically when you get those aches and pains, can help ease some of that imbalance. The other thing that collagen has are going to be byproducts that I recommend in consuming like chicken soup or bone broths. So consuming collagen can help support your immune system but then also reaching for homemade chicken stock and having bone broth at your fingertips in your home can be helpful. And then my last and final tip here is to get rest. Let your body have the time and space to rest, relax, and rejuvenate. Try not to power through, try not to go to work or to do all the things that you're used to doing. You need to recoup. And that recuperation in bed and sometimes maybe in quarantine from your family, but definitely slowing down, getting rest, allow your body to reset is going to be really important. That will limit your time as well in your recovery and minimize the extent of the cold and flu infection in your body. I hope you found these tips helpful and I really am excited to hear how this protocol works for you during the near future cold and flu season.